Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Lil Simsy shell challenge. Today we're going to do the soup shell challenge and if you were part of the live stream when she built this shell, uh, you'll get the inside joke about soup and why everyone in the chat here was saying soup. But it's a, it's a pretty interesting shape. There's two floors above ground and there's one basement level. It's going to be a lot of fun, so I hope that you like what I did with it, and we're going to jump right into the speed build right about here. So you'll see I started on the front porch, just giving it a little bit of a foundation out here because I was trying to figure out how big the outside of the home was going to be, and that way I could kind of plan out the roof around this very strange shape. Because it is such a weird shape, I knew that the roofing would be super odd unless I had some kind of a flat platform to start from so I figured just get that going first and then work from there that's usually the first place I start with a shell challenge like this with all the weird angles and whatnot so here is where I'm just throwing in all the different kinds of shapes to get that perfect angle for roofing that I needed and then down here I also did a lower deck out back because I wanted a little bit of a back deck area as well I think the kitchen will lead into like a little back deck space I did this a few days ago so I'm trying to remember as it plays but I did give it a really fun roof it's very whimsical it's very witchy it's very cool and I hope that you enjoy it. Now the roofing was a little tricky and I did have to use all of the different kinds of angles to get what I was looking for, but I did figure it out in the end. Lots of swoopy roofs, lots of very fun roofing going on here. Uh, but then I did repeat this one very large swoopy shape in the back and also on the side there's a little tiny swoop because I enjoy that very much and I wanted to make sure that none of the roof pieces would cut in so I did kind of split these roof pieces up a little bit. There's also an octagonal roof over here to cover this little bump out. I did have to shrink the roof eave back in though because I didn't like how it was poking out and I didn't think that we really needed that. Also eventually I will get to the roof texture and color and trim and I tried to go with a really colorful option because I usually just do, you know, grays or blacks, but I wanted to give it some kind of a fun color. So I think it ends up looking really cool. It's like a greenish tone and I believe it's kind of like a scalloped roof. I think it's just really, really fun. I thought it was a different roofing style than I usually do. So I I always like to try something new when I do shell challenges, get outside of my comfort zone a little bit. There's also some chimney stacks I put up here in these little strange shapes. I thought they were the perfect spot for it. And I figured the ones from university were kind of classic and they would blend in well with the Realm of Magic stuff. So for the pillars, I did use Realm of Magic. And then for the trim on the rest of the home, and also for a lot of the siding, I used the Castle Estate Kit. Here's that green scalloped roofing going in. I just thought that was so fun. I have not used that one, I don't think ever, in any of my builds on my channel or before that. And then I really like this new trim that came with the Lovestruck expansion pack. And it's kind of that similar gold, like a bronze gold color on the scalloped edges. And I just thought that was so fun. So I really, really enjoyed that. Definitely gave it a little bit of like a whimsical castle kind of feel. And this home is for a spellcaster. So we are building in Glimmerbrook. <laughs> I just wanted it to be really fun. I was kind of feeling the occult vibes that I got from the shape of this home. It's very eclectic. It's very different. And I thought that it just lent itself well to this world and you can make something really grand and really funky and get away with it because if it's a spell caster they can do whatever they want in my book here's some of that siding going in from the castle estate kit i use the more weathered stone eventually but for now it's just the cleaner stone and then also the rest of the home gets this stone from university i really liked all the different kinds of like stone pieces in the stucco it looks like it was hand laid here's where i'm changing up the very top of the chimney stacks to be that more weathered castle estate kit brick because I thought that was a little bit more interesting. Maybe it's been here for a while. I thought it lent itself to being a little older. And I also added a lot of these stained glass windows from Realm of Magic. And I really enjoy this like yellow tone with the rose right in the middle. There's also a door that matches. I did end up changing the wall height eventually to be a medium wall height because I wanted the door to fit properly. And it just wasn't fitting properly on the short wall height because it was kind of clipping through on the second floor when I went to add the archways. 
So eventually I do change that height to be medium wall height instead. But upstairs we're working a little bit on the floor plan. We have the bathroom, which is the room going to be closest to us. And then the primary bedroom has a fireplace. The kids bedroom has a little walk-in closet from get together. And then there's a little upstairs hallway as well. Here's that archway going in. And this is where I decided to change the wall height to be medium because that way they don't clip through to the second floor. There's also a little tiny back door from Realm of Magic. And I also use the plumbing stuff from Realm of Magic. So the toilet and the sink in both bathrooms is from Realm of Magic. And I believe that there's a stand-up shower in the upper level as well. And that one is from Realm of Magic because I really like all the different gold tones. It looks really fun and magical. And then we have a bathtub up here as well from Get Together. I thought it would be nice to have a bathtub. And since that bathroom is so big and so long, I thought that having a bathtub in there would be a good fit for the rest of that room. Also, some more windows going in. They're all from Realm of Magic. I think I may use one or two from different packs, but I'm not sure. So if I do see that, I will point it out to you. <laughs> but now we're back in the kitchen and I'm pulling out the lower cabinets from Realm of Magic and then the upper ones are from For Rent. I think that the wood tone on these matches really well. And unfortunately, we didn't get upper cabinets with the Realm of Magic lower countertop pieces. So that's a bummer. But Luckily, it matches well with a lot of the other packs and with the base game. So you're able to find sort of a matching wood tone to get you through. But really wish, really, really wish still to this day that we had gotten matching upper head cabinets. Now we're going to quickly zoom over to the living room, though, because I wanted to get some placement furniture. in. this is all Realm of Magic furniture, except for the console table, which is from the Crystal Creations stuff pack. I also use a lot of Crystal Creations in this home because I think that the spellcaster who lives here also does some dabbling in the crystal realm and then we have a little tiny chest table over here in the corner where all these funky windows are i do eventually make this make sense but i just wanted that to be kind of like a bay window area and i couldn't find the right window shapes to use so i really wanted to use that circular one then we have a sneaky little broom closet over here because i didn't want this little space to go unused so we just have a little sneaky broom closet and then a light bulb on the ceiling for the light and over here we have the primary bedroom bed going in and the kids bedrooms bed is going in as well just trying to map out the shape of this because it is so weird up here and this kid's bedroom is so small I just wanted to make sure that everything would fit properly we also have a tiny little upstairs landing space I wanted to kind of open it to the lower floor but because of that octagonal roof it was clipping in when I would close it off with the fence piece so that's a shame but it's okay it ends up being very cute in the end I think now we're back in the kitchen. We are using the base game wall tile and then also the floor tile from high school years as well as the little pillar from get together over here just to kind of separate for the rest of the room and the rest of the wallpaper in this room is from love struck i really like this green kind of abstract style of wallpaper i don't know what you'd call that but it just looks really really fun kind of lends itself to the whimsy a little bit and then in here in the living room we are changing up completely with the furniture i decided to go with the couch from crystal creations and also two little hutches from crystal creations as well as the rug and then i thought maybe Maybe adding a couple more windows in here it wouldn't hurt it was a little bit dark in this corner and I also wanted to use these curtains from paranormal stuff pack with the little beads on them I thought they were really really fun so I did have to move the window out of the way and then size up this curtain a little bit so that it would fit over top of both of the windows I did stack them to kind of give a big tall window you know illusion I guess because you can't really do that but I think that it looks really, really nice. I really enjoy that. I wish we had different sizes of windows with that pack as well, but it was made so long ago. It's not like they're going to go back and change it now, although eh, you never know. But we have this little chair going in as well from the Modern Lux kit. I really like the gold on it, and it has a similar gray tone, as well as this Vampire's Light, the little standing floor lamp. I really love that one. And a little plant from Crystal Creations as well and the Cottage Living Hanging Chandelier because I think that that goes really well in a lot of different homes as well as these wall lights from Cozy Bistro, little bookshelf from Realm of Magic. And then out here on the front porch just throwing in one little werewolf's plant because why not? 
because it popped up and I didn't know where I wanted to put it. So I figured I'd try it there. And then we're working in the bathroom real quick, just adding our mirror from Crystal Creations. Of course, our bathroom clutter stuff on the kitchen sink, which I did have to raise up with the nine key because there's no slots on that sink. And then I thought it'd be fun to add some shelves. So I use these ones from Cozy Bistro and I had some toilet paper rolls and some perfume bottles and other little toiletries on the back. I did have to use all placement and kind of fiddle around with how they were positioned, but I think that it ended up looking really nice. Also up top top we have an oil lamp from crystal creations and this little flower from love struck of course my little hanging hand towel on the side and another light from cozy bistro and then back in the kitchen we are going to use these new lamps from love struck and what i did was i sized a few of them down a few clicks and just layered them so they look like one big light and i really enjoy how that came out i get that from a uh, delicacy did that i believe in a recent build so I stole that from Delhi, but <laughs> I really liked the idea. So over here we have this little scale from Realm of Magic and I thought it would be cool to pick out a few herbs and maybe some other like veggies and fruits and such, rotate them and raise them up with tool mods so it looks like they are just sitting in the bowl of the scale and that is what I did here with some, I think some basil and some sage is I believe the herbs that I used in there just rotating a little bit so it kind of looks like it's sitting half in the bowl, half hanging out because that really pretty purple sage. And that's it for the kitchen for now, but we're gonna work on the basement a little bit. I had almost forgot about it because that's me. But we have a lot of furniture from Realm of Magic. We have the hutch and also the computer desk over here and a little study nook area with the Crystal Creations bookshelf and some hanging posters as well as some decorations. From Crystal Creations, I decided to put on this bookshelf. Now, there's not a whole lot of slots, and it's a very finicky little area. So there is a little end table. There's some crystal stuff on the bottom. I also have the charging plate down here, which you do have to move outside if you're charging crystals. But I thought down here would be a nice place to keep it. And also a lot of these different candelabras that came with Realm of Magic and a little selection of candles on the desk as well from Dine Out as well as some artwork on the wall from Realm of Magic and some more plants and a little tiny cow plant terrarium there on the bottom of the bookshelf because that's just fun. And then over here where the cauldron is, I do have the large stone like rug piece with the glowy runes. And then we have some plants going on the bar. Love this mirror from Werewolves. I thought it was so nice. So I paired it with this wall plant that came with Lovestruck and I just kind of squished them together to give like a different kind of wall piece. And then another hanging wall plant in here in the little office space. I also use these mirrors on the wall and I frame them with the Bloomin' Rooms leafy curtain piece. Then over in the living room, we will have seen a lot of crystals on the bottom of the console table. I thought those were a nice touch. In the kitchen here, we have lots of flowers going up on the island and then some more fruit in a tidy bowl that came with for rent. Put those on the counter. We have some small appliances. We have the coffee pot and the instant pot. I thought those were essential. Some bathroom clutter stuff on the island. Of course, the soap pump and the sponge. I also hung a little towel on the end of the island so you have somewhere to dry your hands off and then some more of these curtains from paranormal stuff and I did use a couple different ones and squish them together so that way it looked like it was kind of one continuous curtain rod with a bunch of different curtains on them so hopefully that doesn't clip too bad it doesn't look like it did so <laughs> I was really worried about that but I was also working pretty quickly I really wanted to get this done in time to put it up on the channel before the tours that are happening on, I believe the 21st, she said. If it changes, I'm sure she'll update the uh, Discord server. But we are working on the entryway now. We have another little display hutch for the potions and such. And a little chair. I'm adding a little plant to this table. This is actually like a bar height table. It's not really an end table, but I liked the look of it. So I figured I'd use it in here. I also added a candelabra that came with Love Struck, and I just used all placement to get it where I wanted it to be. Over here near the front door, we have another broom and also a little statue or a very large statue of this fancy lady by the front door. I just thought it looked really pretty there and I wanted something in that corner. Also some hanging wall plants and then I use this curtain from base game. I just size it up and then I use tool mod to move it up slightly. I did change the swatch to be like more of a peachy pinkish tone as well. And then over here in the hallway, we have a console table and this big mirror that came with love struck and then i added some plants we have this flowering vase from love struck and also the snake plant which is base game 
And then some of these like fun little books and ink blots and stuff, those came with werewolves. And also these tomes, which just recently got a new recolor of swatches added with a base game update, which I thought was a lot of fun. So I wanted to throw those in here as well. And then we are finishing up the front porch here. I did add some flowering vases in the front. So I also wanted to add some herbs hanging. And now in the kids room and the upstairs, we have repeated the flooring, which is base game from downstairs all through the upstairs. We have the Realm of Magic bed. I also added a size down dollhouse and a little toy box, this little pop-up book thing that came with the little Camber's kit. There's a fluffy rug from high school years. There's also a little table with two chairs. I assume this is the study spot or like the reading spot, maybe when this child is doing their homework. So I thought having a little tiny bookshelf here mounted to the wall next to where the laptop is would be a good touch. Also a bunch of fun posters. We have some void critters. We have some movie posters. We also have a little height chart. And then later on, I do add some other kids decorations in there up on the walls now here in the hallway is kind of like the crystal area slash the kids craft making area so i put the craft table out here i also added some halloween decorations on the wall and some school drawings which came with growing together i put them on the wall as well like they just pasted them there i thought that was a neat idea and then over here we have the cottage living bed paired with the growing together mirrored and tables in this black swatch and i tried to squish as much of it together as possible my sim who i used to play test this who you will meet at the end of this speed build she was able to get in and out of the bed just fine she was able to use her dresser just fine so i did play test this everything works perfectly as it should i did have to move some stuff around in the downstairs bathroom though so you might notice some differences but back to the build we have the rug that went in from growing together a bunch of different knickknacks on the dresser some from werewolves some from base game and then on top of the fireplace in her room which is super fancy we have a clock from base game a leather little oil lamp from crystal creations and then i threw on some base game plants up here as well as a vase of flowers that came with love struck because i just thought it was really pretty like a little bouquet of flowers maybe those were a gift from her daughter for mother's day or something there's also this lovely couch which i finally used it's from love struck i couldn't figure out how to use that in a living room but i think in a bedroom it makes a really nice looking like reading couch or like a study couch just somewhere you want to hang out it's just I think it fits perfectly in here. And I also wanted to add some wall art. So I added this little selection of like love letters and pictures, like old time pictures from Love Struck as well. And a little fiddly fig in the corner, because why not? And then here in the bathroom, we're just going to jump through it really quick. I used a lot of Realm of Magic. The wallpaper is also Realm of Magic. The flooring is actually from Love Struck. It's really pretty and shiny and it matches the walls pretty well. And I also wanted to add our soap pump and our toothpaste cup one more time in here. And I believe I also add my normal toilet paper roll and plunger. And then behind the toilet, I don't think I put anything except that towel, which is kind of sort of next to the sink. Over here, I did add a little gazebo kind of space. So just to make sure I got the right shape, I copied and pasted the room twice deleted the columns and the fencing and I added another octagonal roof which I extended and then I used the angles to get it perfectly right. I wanted it to kind of sort of mimic the shape of the roof eaves on the house and then I copied and pasted the same roof trim and texture, the same castle estate kit foundation and flooring and then I added a bunch of flowers. So you will see a lot of the landscaping is done. I didn't want to be too too repetitive and make this video too long because I spent a very long time on the landscaping but it's most a bunch of base game debug and live edit plants and I just kind of layered them together to kind of mimic the world around us so I didn't want it to be too much of a standout as far as the plants were concerned I wanted it to kind of blend in like the magic is all on the inside but on the outside they want this home to blend in with the surroundings and not you know stand out too too much also at the end you will notice in the screenshots and in the live mode footage there's a bunch of ivy all over the home i used a whole bunch from cottage living and university and i believe also some snowy escape but i didn't show it on camera because i hadn't decided yet on what i wanted and when i was going back to the screenshots i realized it needed the vines it needed the ivy so i went back and did that before I took all of the images and made all of my graphics. So 
You will not see that on camera. However, it is nice and covered with vines and it's just overgrown and fun and I love it. It's perfect for the spooky season. And then over here we have a garden area as well. Put some garden boxes with a bunch of different herbs, some magical, some not so magical. But I figure for making potions and such, you also need like apples and grapes and spinach and random stuff. So I figured having some normal produce in the garden beds wasn't a bad idea. There's also a death flower in there, just so you know. So if you don't love this home and you're playing with the new pack when it comes out, I'm so excited. Um, you can have a death flower on site ready to go. And I did have my Sim come in and plant all of these. So they will be already planted and hopefully growing. <laughs> they might reset when you place it from the gallery. Not 100% sure, but I think it's a really, really fun idea. Now back here, I did want to throw in some of these crystals. I didn't throw in a crystal tree. I probably should have, which you could do. So if you want to download this and you have the crystal creation stuff pack, you can add a crystal tree back here if you'd like. This was mostly for the aesthetics. This was just for getting the feel of the magic coming through like maybe this is her little crystal stash that just grows here and then i put a lovely little fire pit over here from the Riviera retreat kit and some growing together chairs and then i just blend everything together with a bunch of terrain paint lots of dirt making it all make sense and then we have some yellow flowers for our window boxes and I wanted it to be sort of kind of cohesive. I didn't use them on every single window, but most of the windows that allowed it and that had the room for a window box, I definitely put those on there, as well as these lovely roof spires. These are from Get Together, and I think they're really fun, and I like the bronze slash gold tone on them. Then out here on the back deck, I thought it looked a little sad, so I wanted to add in some plants from For Rent, Perfect Patio, and Paranormal Stuff, and then I finished up with the rest of the landscaping. We have these very very large bushy bushes going all throughout and then you also see that I pulled out some ivy that's kind of trailing from the world into the lot which I think is really fun so it kind of blends it all in together adding some more flowers some more flower bushes they're very muted and kind of pink or yellow toned I wanted it to be very like understated not too super bright just like really serene and peaceful and nice. So maybe this spellcaster deals mostly with like light magic and practical magic and not so much of the mischievous or dark kind, but you wouldn't think so looking at her in cast. So I'll show you her just a second, but very, very, very pretty and very interesting. I really enjoyed all of her outfits. But we're adding some outdoor lighting because I wanted to make sure you could see in all times of the day. And then I wanted to add some more terrain paint to get everything blended together nicely. You also won't see it on camera, but I added a set of monkey bars for the child of this home. And it goes right in the little corner where that very tall tree is. Here is our master spellcaster, though. She is from the gallery. I believe the user's name is Low Red or Lowered 16. And I really like her. She's super fun. I love her cat shirt. And I only had to change a few things on her just to like, give her some nails and some eyelashes and such. But this is our home. This is the enchanting family home. It is two bed, two bath in Glimmerbook, and I think it came out super nice. You'll see all of the vines that I put all over the outside of the house, including the gazebo. It is super cute and super fun. So I hope that you enjoyed this one, and I look forward to seeing you if you are there at the Shell Tours on the 21st. I'm very excited to see what everybody else came up with, and I really hope that you enjoy this. So please give it a like and subscribe if you have not already. Tell your friends and uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything else you would like to see before the new Life and Death expansion pack comes out, which I am in position to get upon release. So I'm very excited. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me here today, guys. Bye. <music>